Hello, and welcome to this second drum machine tutorial with Computer Music. In the second of our tutorials, we're going to be looking at how to use a classic set of 909 sounds to recreate Orbital's classic called Chime. Most doors are equipped with a set of 909 sounds. If they're not literally described as 909 sounds, the chances are they might be described as a dance kit or something of that nature. Either way, we're working in Logic with the set of factory sounds which are called EXS909 and this can be located as part of the sampler factory set. So if you load up the sampler in Logic and you come down to the factory set you'll see within the electronic section it says EXS909 which is our classic set of samples. This may differ slightly in your own door but the process should be very similar. So let's look at the pattern itself. This is only a one bar pattern so set up a spare bar within your door and then you can loop it or cycle it as you see fit. We're working in Logic here and we're using the step sequencer within Logic. So let's begin by looking at note C1 which is our bass drum. You can see from our pattern here that we have beats 1, 2, 3 and 4 and we have an extra eighth note on beat 2.5. This means that we should hear something like this. So now let's look at adding the snare drum. The snare plays a slightly syncopated offbeat pattern. It's not the traditional 2 and 4 that you might find elsewhere. So you can see we have triggers on both the 4th and the 10th steps of the 16 note sequence. That means we get something like this. The next element we're going to add in is the hi-hat. And the hi-hat uses both closed and open sounds. The closed hi-hat sound is normally located on note F-sharp 1 and the open hi-hat is normally located on note A-sharp 1. Interesting to note, just like on a regular drum kit, you can't play an open hi-hat at the same time as a closed hi-hat. Now with some drum machines that does vary, but actually we're going to keep to that tradition so that it sounds more authentic. You can also see that within this pattern, each four notes that play then essentially repeat. So we have two closed hi-hats followed by an open hi-hat and then a fourth note which is closed hi-hat. This means we end up with this. The next element to add to the pattern is called the rim shot and you'll find this on note C sharp 1. This plays a slightly polyrhythmic element which cuts across some of the other instrumentation. So it sounds like this. We have the claps that play on D sharp 1 and they also play in a slightly polyrhythmic way across the existing pattern but also you can see against what the rim shot is doing so it all plays in different places. This means that when you put these two elements together we get this interesting pattern. It's got an ever so slight Latin feel about it but of course that's not the overall effect within the track. So there we go, that's our complete chime pattern.